Hey guys, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World. I'm going to demonstrate the Brainpoint Smart Irrigation System. This I have here the two-zone Wi-Fi irrigation water timer. And I have done a previous video showing the unboxing, first impressions, and a uh, little bit of overview of it. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. In this video, I'm going to show you how it works and what I think of it. Here are my final reviews and uh, thoughts on this product. So I installed this on here and I went against their recommendations and I used rechargeable batteries and they say not to use rechargeable batteries for good reason. So there's two tabs on here and you got to pull really hard because they're tight. There's a waterproof seal and uh, it's got quite a rubber seal on there on the battery compartment. I'm going to swap the batteries with some Duracells that I bought which should do the job very well. While I'm doing this I'd like to note um, there's no... my only my only negative aspect, which isn't really a, a big deal, there's no mounting hardware on this at all that I can see. No way to mount it. So what I did, that's why I said it's not a big deal. I took some wire and I strapped it up here. I don't know if you'll hear it, but a quick little test to see if this works or not before you get it going with all kinds of fancy apps. You hold the button here. I've got the water turned on and you hold one of your buttons. I'm not going to turn on the right one because it's not connected and I'm going to shoot myself with water. I'm going to hold the left button for one or two seconds and water is shooting out. But since my camera is right here, I'm going to shut that off. I don't know if you can see it here. Um, water is going through the irrigation system. Hit it again and it stops. That's good. Now, I've got the, I'm going to open the app here and it says it's online that's a good thing I'm gonna open up the irrigation timer and right above my head here is a hose I don't know if it shows on camera it goes around down here and it winds all over the greenhouse which I'll show you in a little bit here I've got this to manual I'm gonna hit start and I hear a sound cool so I just turned on the water flow and my irrigation system is loading up and starting to drip. Here comes the water, I can see it moving. And it should start dripping right here. Any second now, there it comes the water coming up through. This is a uh, irrigation type hose, it's gonna drip. It's starting to climb. As soon as the pressure builds up, it should start dripping all along this hose. Um, it's working all through here. I'll get you a close-up of that in a second here. I was hoping it would start building up pressure here. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right, we've got irrigation. Um, I've set it for manual, and I've set it for five minutes. There you can see we've got irrigation. This is a two-zone irrigation system, and I have plans to set up a second zone over my shelf here to get more precise irrigation on my plants. But that will have to be later because we still have mega cold freezing nights coming on, which is odd. Now, let me show you the bottom here and what I've done. It's like it's raining in here, sort of cool. Um, I do like this irrigation hose. So that's um, going to splatter water <laughs> my plants here. That's not precise. The reason I can't do that, I started to say, is it gets it gets down in the, the 20s at night, some nights, and um, having these super fine tubes coming down to feed every single plant, uh, I, I can't be undoing that every night or every couple nights. Right now we've got it a warm cycle, but the next two nights are going to deep freeze again. And I, I can't set that up until after the, um, the freeze is done. But for now, I can try to line up my stuff here. Now what we got 
all the way through is like a rainstorm and it's watering my entire greenhouse that's a hundred foot of hose I believe right now as I said it's on a five a five minute manual setting but later I'll be able to run the hoses up through my shelving up here for the zone two and zone two will control everything up here and zone one will be everything on the ground and five minutes have elapsed the water stops that is a very successful test all right guys i have here the rain point app that shows zone one zone two and it shows last water usage and i can go to this is the parameters i can go to manual and I can start and stop manually. I can set a timer for zone one or zone two. So I can manually set all the way up to 60 minutes and hit play and it'll start watering for whatever time you choose. Or you can just hit the start button, the little play button, and then hit it again when you're done. I can go to plan and I have a plan set, but I'm gonna set a, another plan, plan B, there's three plans here. I'm gonna set this up right now with a uh, start time. It's 4.20 right now. And well, I can't do this on the floor. I'm gonna set a different start time here and uh, set it for a few minutes from now. And then we can go inside the greenhouse and watch it work. Really awesome, if you buy the moisture meters for the soil, um, you can tell when it rains outside and in this case I'm using a greenhouse if it's set up for outdoors whatever there's a rain delay 24 48 or 72 hours which is really awesome so it'll actually bypass all your plants if it already has rained and your plants that you're watering are outdoors I like that a lot I really like that a lot um, I'm probably gonna get that and set one of these up for our, our entire garden system next year so that we never have to stress again about watering whether we're home or not I like it and then there's a sensor here you can have different sensors set up which I don't have at this time on the plans again I should um, add there's plan A, B and C zone 1 and zone 2 so with this one here we have two outputs two different zones and up to six different plants that's really cool okay my program is set to come on any minute now I set it to 427 p.m. and it's 426 right now the water just turned on you can see starting to beat here oh I see I have to tighten the hose yep I have to tighten the line but our irrigation system is starting to to drip you can see the the moisture forming on the ground now that's set to run for 10 minutes now and we have automatic watering of our greenhouse which is going to take a lot of stress off us this is really good really awesome and the uh the key now is going to be to get this um dialed in for our system and how much water we need in the soil how much time we need to let it run so you'll have to work on that to figure out how long to set it for your needs. Okay, the plant has run its course and shut off. All my plants on the top got their water they needed. Bottom's looking pretty good. I like it. This is going to save us a lot of time, a lot of stressing. Now we can go somewhere, go on vacation even, and not stress about our plants. This is a perennial greenhouse, and... Uh, it suffers severely if you're gone. And never again will we lose plants if we're gone. Well guys, this is certainly going to save us a lot of problems here on the homestead, which I have covered in the video, so I won't repeat myself, but this is really awesome. I'm probably gonna end up getting more of these to cover different areas in the property because we have a very wide, large area. And I'm probably going to end up with three of these over time. I like it, and I would highly recommend it. It works very well. Please like this video. Get one yourself. I'll put the links down below. Check it out.